Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We'll also take a look at their energies or intentions towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So let's get right into it, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know, spirit, in regards to love? What does Scorpio need to know in regards to love spirit? Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting on the videos. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. And I just want to say real quick thank you to everyone who has taken the time to leave me such thoughtful comments. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's see. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you is the first message for you. Codependency and soulmate. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And yes, this is your soulmate. For me as a reader, codependency is um, just some sort of attachment, unhealthy attachment. Um, it doesn't have to be an addiction. It could be. But for me as a reader, it's just any sort of unhealthy attachment. I think there's an unhealthy attachment here because um, someone feels this is their soulmate. You feel a strong connection to this person. However, there's some red flags you need to take. If not red flags, then something is you need to listen to your gut about, basically. There's something here that you need to look at more closely, something that might keep you attached to an unhealthy situation. Heart to heart conversations at the bottom there. Let's see if we can get any more insight into this situation for Scorpio spirit. What does Scorpio need to know in regards to love? June 2020, please. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Oh, okay. All right. Scorpio need to know. Oh, we got the thinking woman. So someone's thinking about you. You're thinking about them. A lot of overthinking I'm picking up as well. Someone's overthinking about someone else. This could be you overthinking about your person or your person's overthinking about you. Door to personal healing and happiness. This to me is an opportunity here to something special, something new. And I think it has to do with a wish being granted because I have the cornucopia here. Hmm. So I'm loving that energy so far. Let's get into it. Those were the energy oracle cards there and the romance angels, which are out of print. You can find them on Amazon, but I don't like to link those because I, I can't vouch for the quality of them. So all the other decks that I use are linked in the description box if you're interested. For Scorpio, please. And this is the Light Seer's Tarot. For Scorpio, please. What is Scorpio? need to know in regards to love Scorpios, please. sun moon rising up oh, my goodness when will the third parties end <laughs> i feel like i'm always doing readings here with third party energies interferences three of cups reversed by the way we do reversals on this channel if you do not understand reversed tarot cards, please save your comments and find another reader that does not do reversals because in this channel, reversals are fine. Uh, a tarot card that is reversed just means the message is different. That's all it means, literally. So yeah, this whole spread could be reversed. And if you're not cool with that, then like I said, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> no, but seriously, like I'm open to a whole spread of reversals and that's what i'll read because that's the message if i could pick the cards ahead of time why would i do this channel right would it make much sense eight of swords that's that overthinking that i was picking up on here with the thinking woman this is someone who's trapped in their head who has built a prison or built a barrier around the mind someone that can't see a way out of their thoughts someone that feels trapped the higher font taurus energy okay there could be a commitment here, a contract. 
this could have something to do with traditions or religious institutions or some sort of formal institution i'm going to clarify all of these Queen of Swords, Aries, no, not Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I always want to say Aries, Libra, Gemini. I don't know why. Or Scorpio. What do they need to know? Some sort of third party interference or third party being revealed here uh, is going to keep someone. It's almost like someone is having a really hard time dealing with this interference. It might be an interference in a committed partnership the star reversed aquarius energy something feels hopeless something feels like it's never going to happen someone's trying to keep the faith what else for scorpio what else for scorpio Ooh. okay we got the queen of wands kind of in limbo so i'm going to leave her there Queen of Wands in Limbo, upright, she's uh, someone that does whatever, she gets things done. So she does whatever she needs to do to get her goal achieved. She is brave, she is eccentric, she is bright, she is charismatic, very attractive, passionate. When she's reversed, she has a short temper, she craves attention, she uh, cares only about her pleasure, her needs, and nobody else. She doesn't care about the consequences. So you might be dealing with someone like this, Scorpio, or the person that you are thinking about is dealing with this situation because this is energy here. So this could be all focus on you. It could be all about the person you're thinking about, or it could be half and half. That's how energy works. So... This could be you that's dealing with a queen of wands or your person. There's two queens here, which makes sense because I have a third party possibly interference. So this could be two people. It does not have to be another romantic partner. It can be, but it can also be anything that's interfering in this connection. It could be a parent, a friend, coworker. It could be fa any family member. It could be distance, finances unhealthy attachments something here so i'm going to clarify with the same deck interesting tell me about this three of cups reverse let's start there okay we got the devil reverse capricorn energy here someone wants to break free from a whatever interference is keeping them like locked up here with this eight of swords it's way too many Anything else about this Three of Cups reverse, please, Spirit? Anything else for Scorpio, please? The Wheel reversed. So this is just bad, like a, a, a series of unfortunate events <laughs> taking place here with this third party uh, reveal or this interference here. Bad timing, not the right time. Um, things seem to not be working out um things are not happening as someone expects they want luck on their side but it's not there the wheel is always turning though that's not permanent none of these cards just stay where they are this is energy so it could shift at any time by yeah look at this there's temperance sagittarius energy here with temperance temperance is all about moderation bringing something together merging two things together in harmony balance it takes patience to blend something together successfully so it's almost like at some point this was bad timing bad luck and now it's like they're being patient they're trying to do things the right way and it's almost like it's going to take time, but they're going to get there. Interesting. We have the King of Cups reversed at the bottom. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. This is someone that's not dealing with this situation well, men, uh, emotionally. Um, they want to break free of an unhealthy attachment. And it doesn't feel like it's the right time. And they're trying to be balanced about this. They're trying to be patient, but I don't think, I don't know. I wonder if their patient is running out here. 
tell me more about this three of cups reverse i feel like this is like the catalyst or like the big issue here tell me more please about this three of cups reverse four of swords so someone cannot act is probably keeping this to themselves is not really communicating about what they're trying to bring together here someone could be healing but more than anything i'm picking up here yeah it's like the thinking before the acting with the knight of swords here it's like someone is resting thinking keeping their plans to themselves before they like go forward and rush towards what they want here tell me about this eight of swords this eight of swords oh okay nine of cups judgment reverse so someone here made a bad judgment call at some point or is dealing with bad karma this is someone that possibly has not learned from their mistakes or has not learned from something in their past um but I think what happened here is that someone made a decision thinking they were going to get their wish, thinking they were going to be satisfied. They could also be trying to <sighs> trying to get over the fact that they messed up so that they can go after emotional fulfillment here. Can I get one more for Eight of Swords, please? It's like they're 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 stuck in their head about a bad decision. About how they're going to make this happen how they're going to get their wish when they don't feel very stable or grounded when they are like this king of pentacles reverse interesting so we have a king of pentacles reverse and two queens this king of pentacles reverse um they probably made this bad call because they were just thinking about themselves they were greedy they wanted to have their cake and eat it too they probably made a bad call regarding finances because the king of pentacles reverse is terrible with finances he also hoards like he doesn't want to share interesting queen of cups reverse at the bottom this king of this bad judgment could have had to do with another person let's see tell me about this higher font the higher font doing here death there you are scorpio ace of swords so you know that you have to cut something out you know you have to change something transform something and i'm just hearing cut it out cut this out tell me more about the higher font this could be a contract or uh a long-term commitment someone could be in a relationship because it's the right thing to do yeah this could have something to do with breaking of a contract making a final decision with justice here this is like decision time time to rebalance time to have things fair to me Time to change things, and you do that after you make a certain decision here. This this justice is a final decision. Like, this has been looked at from every single angle, and I've, I'm ready to make my decision. And it has to do with a contract, or again, it, this could be a marriage, a divorce for some of you, because I have justice in the higher font to me that can symbolize something to, to do with the court system regarding a, a commitment. But there you are with death. So this is like a, a huge transformation. Bottom of the deck here, I have six of swords reverse. It could be that someone cannot leave a situation yet until it's over, until it's fully transformed. <coughs> Excuse me, they could be blocked from leaving or they could be wanting to come back to something yeah, their intuition is probably telling them that they should return to something. And I keep getting these messages, guys. Eight of Cups reverse, Six of Swords reverse. For all the signs, I don't know what's going on. But, you know, those are the messages that I'm getting. And let's start looking at this 
Queen of Swords down here. What's this Queen of Swords doing down here for Scorpio? What's this Queen of Swords doing down here? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Someone feels like they possibly invested in the wrong thing or has been waiting a long time for something that hasn't happened. This could be somebody in this third party because again, I feel like these two queens are in this third party. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Four of Cups, definitely. This Queen of Swords is like, is this ever going to happen? Is this person ever going to make a decision? What's going to happen here? You could be dealing with a Gemini because I did the Gemini reading and they had a big change of heart type of reading. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. And for some reason, I'm thinking that this is connected. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Yeah, this this gem this Gemini, this Queen of Swords has no idea. She's in the dark. She's confused. She wonders if this is all in their head. If this is just if this is ever gonna happen. Pisces energy with the with the moon. Tell me about the star reverse. What's the star reverse? Five of Swords. I'm going to start calling this channel the Five of Swords channel because <laughs> I always get it. And the Five of Swords is such a hard energy to deal with. Like so, there was a loss here, a defeat. And because of that, someone feels like the situation they're in is hopeless. And then I have the Three of Pentacles, which came out upright. So... Again, I feel like it's this having to do with this third party, having to do with what was built or not built here. There could have been um, too many people here and it's like one of them might lose and the other one, it's almost like they, everybody lost, actually. This is a hopeless situation or it feels hopeless. It feels like this person's like, there. there's no way out of this. Maybe I messed up too badly. Can I turn this ship around? Is what I just heard. Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, this has been very heartbreaking for someone. They're disillusioned. They feel like like all all of their like it's just it's just never gonna happen for them. They want to leave the situation. They want to go towards somewhere more balanced, you know? I don't think with the High Priestess Reverse, I wonder if they're ignoring their intuition about leaving a situation. I feel like they might be stuck in an unhealthy situation because in their mind, it's hopeless elsewhere. Or it, it's, it's, there's no, it's hopeless to even try to get out of it because it's such a mess. That's just what I'm picking up here. And it might have to do with this Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Thank you. Page of Wands, reverse. Five of Cups, reverse. So something here wasn't able to take off with the Queen of Wands energy. Someone here could be having... Um, regrets they're not over the past not over what happened with this queen of wands or not over what didn't take off Let's see what else they could also be overcoming disappointment regarding what didn't work with this queen of wands tell me more about this queen of wands please oh my gosh it's way too many Tell me more about this Queen of Wands, please. For Scorpio. Okay. Oh. Empress reverse, King of Cups reverse. So. 
something wasn't able to be manifested or created or this empress they're not they're not very happy this empress this empress is controlling they don't have resources to manifest they cannot give like they cannot bring any idea into fruition they invest in the wrong thing and then we have the king of cups reverse two kings of cups two queens bottom of the deck knight of pentacles reverse and the six of cups reverse so someone here this has possibly something to do with the past have the ace of wands and knight of swords someone wanting to rush into this new beginning i feel like it has to do with the past because the six of cups is someone that's not over the past and the knight of pentacles reverse this knight and for me as a reader they make it to their destination but they're very delayed and i think they're delayed because of this this is this is a situation where someone is very upset not handling it well the fact that something is not working that something someone never something never got a chance to get started i feel like i see a tower coming up i feel like it has to do with this situation up here but um I, I still feel this queen, these two queens are the ones in the third party. They do not have to be females, but I do get the sense that they're part of this third party, along with this King of Pentacles reverse. I think this King of Pentacles reverse and this King of Cups reverse are the same person. And I think this Queen of Wands and this Empress reverse are the same person. That's how I'm feeling it. Can I get one more for this Queen of Wands, please? My gosh, yeah. Knight of Pentacles reverse again. Bottom of the deck, Hangman. Pisces energy here with the Hangman. Someone is seeing this. Yeah, for what it is. Yep. Someone is seeing this for what it is. Their, their eye is on this Queen of Pentacles and an ending that has to happen here for a new beginning. So we got the Fool, the Ten of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. This is the new beginning here. Or it could be that they need to put an end to a committed partnership, something that has been very disappointing, very heartbreaking for someone. They're seeing this for what it is. Interesting. Clarity, that Ace of Swords. Someone knows exactly what they need to do to put an end to this. I don't know if that's you, Scorpio. I don't know if you're in a third party with this person and they're, they chose someone else over you. Because that's a running theme in these readings. And it's like, with the planetary shifts happening, everybody's having like, you know, eureka moments, right? Where it's like, wow, I really screwed up. I chose the wrong person, etc. But in this case here, I feel like someone knows what they have to do. They know that they, they see things clearly for what they are. They might be overthinking, you know, the fact that their wish is going to be delayed that this is going to be possibly a hopeless situation that this block over here is going to be you know it's going to stop them forever i don't think that's the case i think it's just it, they're going to be very delayed it's going to be a long road ahead for this person who wants to have a new beginning and i think they want to have a new beginning with you scorpio or vice versa and you know maybe in the past things didn't end well or someone's dealing with fighting arguing um backstabbing i just heard dealing with someone who you know it's like loss after loss after loss and it's like this person's tired of it look how this person looks like they're just over it they're heartbroken over what's going on And I feel like this other person, this could be you, Scorpio. Um, someone in this third party has no idea what's going on. They really feel like this is all in their head. Like maybe they're the only ones that feels this way or they're the only ones that wants this. But I don't think that's the case. I just think this other person 
is blocked from going after their new beginning and they're dealing with something pretty bad here they ignored the red flags that's what i just heard they ignore the red flags for the person they chose or the person they're with and now they're in an unhealthy situation and i feel like they want to go towards their soulmate or maybe they thought this was their soulmate and that's what they shot themselves in the foot so i kind of want to see this knight of pentacles this opportunity this offer what's blocking this offer specifically and what's coming with this offer what is this offer about is it new love is it freedom 